the despicable axe murderer and heightened Merseyside. An essayistic observation penned in 2005 and dedicated to the family of slain heightened teenager Anthony Walker. As if Ken Bigley, Michael Shields and the 20th anniversary of the Heisel tragedy were not sufficiently distressing for the effervescent, quite Catholic in his character, the European capital of culture 2008, the city of Liverpool had to be befallen by a brutal, racially motivated axe murder in Highton. A half-decent heart of hearts breaks for the family of slain teenager Anthony Walker, who has become the victim of a slim minority of ostracised scallywags in the pool, who firmly believe that they should take it upon themselves to rescue the so-called whiteness of the population on this island. These low-life excuses for humanity have desecrated a fellow human being's life who did them no harm. They just couldn't get over how a person of colour that is the antithesis to white could walk hand in hand with a gorgeous white dame in Highton. Therefore the imbeciles had to rectify the situation and slaughtered one of their own. Now the Walker family who are devout Christians have expressed forgiveness to these profane monsters who tried to strip barbaric way. Is that how we show patriotism in the wake of 7 7 and 21 7? I hereby ask. Is that how we contribute towards making England, England, a brighter spot for us all? No, me fellow outcast whites, this is sadly how we continue to justify the hatred for our very existence that is so widespread throughout the so called third world. This is when any person with a grain of morality can stand up and denounce this white behaviour. It is uncivilised. And we whites have got to emphasise that point. No ifs, no buts. It is cardinally sick. And the perpetrators of this crime are sickness personified, and don't kid yourself. Their conduct is no more excusable than that of the terrorists who used jihad as their argument for grilling humans like kebabs all over the capital.